in the city of Nairobi. There are more children out of school in Nairobi city than there are in, in Mandera, for example. So we will, we will tackle poverty in, in every place. And uh, the, the people that have been suggested today in our economic team will finalize and uh, together we will have a blueprint that will capture all the aspirations that we believe in. Let me now request my good friend, Moses Kuria, MK. Kabisi, Your Excellency, the incoming President of the Republic of Kenya, fellow leaders, our incoming Deputy President, my good friend Ricardo Gashagua, and all leaders present. It has been not been an easy time to Kiwambia Irikuwa Raisi to Naza Kuwa Tunawadaganya. And as I told my colleagues yesterday, we were not looking for the best decision. We were looking for the most optimal decision. Because the Deputy President is a fortunate, unfortunate man who happens to have a team that is wide, deep, and very broad in terms of expertise. It has an excess and abundance of skill and competence. And to choose one individual within those circumstances is not the easiest thing. It is not possible that all of us uh, had to see the scene the same way. Because that is why God created us as humans who are different. Otherwise, he would have created us as zebras who are all similar. And the good thing and the great thing is that by putting our diversity together, we are able to deliver as a team, not for us, but for this country. So let me first of all recognize the individuals, our colleagues, who were fortunate enough to be on the short list. When we went to the short list, we were So, Anne Weguro, you are a great woman. You are a great lady of this country. And your concession today makes you bigger and taller in this conversation. Same as my good brother, Senator Kindiki Kidure, and the person that uh, I was supporting, J.B. Muturi, who has also considered. <laughs> so I just want to say, I I I told Rigadi Gashagwa today, you are not just going to be a deputy president. You are going to be what we call primus inter pares, the first among equals, a leader of a team that is diverse, that is going to work together. I've worked with you in the, in the, in the transport committee here where I was your chair, and you respected me as your, as your vice chair of the transport committee, and I'm sure together we are going to work together for, for this country. Let me also say, that we also share another deep common interest for our region. And some people think it's tribalism when we talk about regions. This country is a house, and this house is made of pillars. Last week I was with the Honorable Musaria Mudabadi and Honorable Wetangula with the Deputy President in Western Kenya, where we benefited from very deep conversations about things that affect the economic pillars of the Western region. And so every region, we are going to build a house that has got strong pillars from all regions, and I'm very, very, I'm very happy, Your Excellency, that you have entrusted me with this responsibility of ensuring that we drive our economic agenda, working with Honorable Gadi Gashagua and the team. And I want to assure you that as your economic running mate, I'm equal to the task. <laughs> and matters of giving Kenyans access to credit, access to capital, reviving our agriculture, and most important, creating jobs. 
You know, if we create jobs in this country, if we give young people jobs, this issue of even crime is going to go down and other vices. Kama sisa, your excellency, umenipatia hii kazi, I'll be busy. So, ata watu sita tukua na tukana tena. Dio ujue, ni kazi watu wanakuwa mekosa. Tukipatia vijana wetu kazi pia. Inji itakuwa safi. So, those issues of one man, one shilling that uh, uh, we are talking about, issues of uh, fair representation, which is very important, issues of our key sectors, coffee, tea. We are not asking you, Your Excellency, at you to say, Dear Naizo Vitu, is a Rikali Sio Yako, is a Rikali Nietu. We are going to move in and implement them yourself. So, whether the Adikwe, the Adikwe, how can you sign a contract with yourself? Because in Israel, yet. Yeah, so we will implement them. Because we are not going to ask for your permission. We are going to implement the one man, one shilling. We are going to implement the equality of votes. And we are going to ourselves, working as a team, implement the revival of the key sectors of our economy. Civil service reform, because we have to reform the civil service. All these things have to be anchored within the civil service. My party has nominated... Dr. Joyce Nyamoya, former PS for civil service, to join this team, uh, which she has graciously accepted, because we want to return this country back to the Kibaki days where we had an efficient civil service. And Joyce, myself, and uh, Dr. Mutua work together uh, with, with Kibaki on that, and the good old days are, are coming back. Finally, I know this country is having a lot of anxiety today. But I want to assure this country, Kwamba Bere Ikosawa, we are okay, we are safe, with this team we are safe. And I want to tell my good friend, my very, very good friend, Honorable His Excellency President Uru Kenyatta, with Kenya Kwanza government, you will be okay. In fact, you will regret why you never supported it. These fears that have been spread around, that we are going to be vindictive, that we are going to run down this country, that we are going to run corrupt government, let me assure you, Your Excellency, as your member of parliament and your friend, that is hot air. It is not true. We are going to run this country in a way which we are going to say that you thank God you picked William Ruto as you were running me 10 years ago, and you thank God that you are with this team, and together we are going to act together. And I want to ask His Excellency President, please, this is where you belong. I still believe you belong here. If you choose to belong elsewhere, it's fine. The only punishment you give you is to live in a country where there's economic prosperity. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Moses.